Hi, welcome to the Marketing with Delight podcast. I'm your host, Delight Howley. I am a Facebook and Instagram ads manager and marketing expert. And today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics, which is Facebook ads. And FYI, when I say Facebook ads, I mean Instagram ads as well. I, for almost all of my clients now, I do both. Uh, Facebook and Instagram together. So a lot of times I'll say Facebook ads, but I do mean Instagram as well. And now we're even getting options to do WhatsApp, which I haven't played with a ton, but just FYI, that's what I, you know, and now Facebook is called meta. So really what I'm saying is meta ads, but that sounds weird still to me. So anyway, I'm saying Facebook ads. And um, I want to talk about some of the most common mistakes that I see people making with their ads to help you avoid these potential mistakes. So I've been running ads since 2016. That is when I did my first campaign for my own business. And I'm gonna talk about that a little bit on today's episode and the mistakes I made when I was first starting out. I've made a lot of them actually. I've made multiple of these mistakes myself. So I know what I'm talking about there. Um, First, I wanna mention though, I have seen so many things go right. You know, I've had a client who quadrupled her email list with ads. I had a client who grew her Facebook group from 40 people to 836 people. And I had a client who had her very first $30,000 launch for her high-end program after running Facebook ads to build her audience. So, you know, don't get discouraged and assume that Facebook ads will never work. Uh, you, You just need to have all your ducks in a row. Um, I don't want you to waste your time, energy, and money on ads. So what is the difference between the Facebook ads fails and the Facebook ads wins? Well, let's get into it. I've got five different mistakes that I want you to avoid. Mistake number one that I see people making with Facebook ads trying to use ads to fix your business. This is a big one. Uh, It's really unfortunate. I have seen people posting in Facebook groups being like, I'm about to go out of business. I need to run some ads. And I'm, that's just, that's not a great, that that's a terrible plan. Really. It's going to make you go out of business faster than ever because you'll be spending money on ads to advertise something that isn't working. So I like to think of it like this, ads only amplify what's already happening in your business. They don't change what's happening, they amplify it. So if your business is successful and you are making sales, you're making six figures and beyond, ads will amplify that and bring more people into your world, which being in your world is converting them into uh, clients eventually. However, if if your sales process or your messaging or your offer is not working or your website is a dead, you know, the best ads in the world aren't going to fix that. So <clears throat> I've just just assuming that all you need is, is to get your message in front of more people and then everything will be okay is definitely not a good way to go. I just had someone I was talking with in the last week who has, uh, who got this advice from somebody else from like a business coach that said, you just have to get in front of more people. You just have to, uh, run some ads. And I don't think that's a good plan. If you're, if you're not able to convert your existing audience into clients and make money, then running ads is not going to help that. There's something else going on with your marketing that needs to be addressed. So the other thing that can happen if you're trying to fix your business with ads is that you might be too dependent on making money right away. Because this is going to, I'm going to talk about this more, but there's more, there's a lot involved in in running ads and having a funnel and you need to have some runway. You need to have some time and some money to invest in testing and building and tweaking and optimizing. So if you're cutting it too tight, 
you're going to stress, you're going to be super stressed out. And if anyone like me were to help you, you would stress them out as well, which I have worked with clients uh, who were a little too tight and really depending on things to turn around in a very short period of time. And I didn't really realize that when we started working together and it, it got incredibly stressful for me. So, uh, so I always want to let people know, um, you know, ads are something to do when you're really successful, you have money. It feels like you're an investment in growing your audience, growing your email list. It is not something to do when you are up against the wall and you need to make a quick buck. Ads are not going to help you. Don't start with ads, figure out another way to turn your business around. Mistake number two kind of goes along with mistake number one, but it is to not have a proven offer. So what I mean by this is that you want to be really confident that people want and will purchase whatever you're selling before you start running ads to bring more people through that experience. So I've had people like people who are really new in business and haven't really even figured out what their signature program is yet will come to me and be like, Hey, let's run some ads. I need to build my email list. I need a list. And that's generally not a great plan because yes, we can definitely build your email list. I can almost guarantee, I can never guarantee any specific results with Facebook ads, but I can almost guarantee that I can help you build your email list. However, if you're not super clear on who your ideal client is and how you help them and you, you know, your offer is tried and true. You get great results. You've had a track record of, you know, your sales process works. You get people to pay you and purchase this offer. Running Facebook ads is a total crapshoot at that point. If you don't have that in place, you don't know what's going to happen at all. You know, so people try to get me to run numbers for them. They're like, so I'm launching this new course. The price point is a thousand dollars, whatever, or I have this you know, high-end coaching package, it's $10,000. And so what can I expect as far as a return? And I'm like, well, what's your conversion rate for this program? And they're like, I don't know. I've never run it before. So I'm like, well, then I can't tell you, you know, <laughs> I can guess your conversion rate could, but your conversion rate could be zero. I've seen this happen, unfortunately, as well, where, you know, things in the, in the funnel and the customer journey just miss the mark and someone has invested in ads and has not converted any of those leads into sales. So I don't want that to happen to you. You do want to make sure that you have a successful offer and then build your Facebook ads and your funnel backwards from that offer so that you're leading people down that path towards working with you. And one other caveat as well. So let's say you're a successful coach, you have scaled uh, you know, your offer, you're at around like six figures a year, you're doing well, you're like, okay, let's amplify this with ads, just like Delight said. So that's, that is great, that is a great plan However, I just want you to be aware that it still takes time for someone who is cold, who has never seen your face before, and now they're seeing your ad, it may take them a while to become a customer. And you may have to tweak your, your funnel or your customer journey somewhat because it's a, just a different experience. If you've been selling organically this whole time, and now you're going to paid traffic, it's people are in a different mindset. It can take people longer to know, like, and trust you and be ready to work with you. So it's just something to keep in mind. You don't always expect that your, the experience and your results are going to be exactly the same as they were when you didn't run ads, but that's just something that you want to budget for. You want to plan for, you want to realize going into it that uh, it's totally possible, but you want to, just have correct expectations for the time and money that it will take to get this system in place for you. Okay, mistake number three, expecting to make six figures in profit from a $27 digital product. So I get this question a lot from potential clients and even existing clients, because this is a, this is a strategy that has been out there 
a lot lately and you'll see if you see ads about marketing for your business you may see this coming up because people are really pushing it at least i still see ads for this quite a bit where people like the logic is okay so instead of advertising a free lead magnet to build your list and then email people about your offer and then get them to either buy from a sales page or sign up for a call with you that's most of the time what i do with my clients and that is a tried and true method to use facebook ads some people will say okay don't do a free lead magnet do a paid one do charge it charge like 27 dollars or 37 or something under 50 or even under 100 and then when you sell this to people those people they will become a lead at that point for your higher end offer and they will be a better qualified lead because they have already purchased something from you even though it was a low price point we know these are not freebie seekers these are people who are ready and willing to buy and i don't know that logic necessarily holds up it sounds good but like <laughs> if you're a high-end coach and you have a three thousand to ten thousand to twenty thousand dollar program creating a 27 dollar offer i mean it is a leap to go from a 27 dollar uh, digital course to a three thousand or ten thousand uh, dollar coaching program so i don't think that necessarily follows and when I have done these ads for folks, it was a struggle. It was very, very difficult to get them, you know, actually building their leads and their email list with this low price product. I, I feel like it is much easier to start a relationship with people with a free offer than even from a low priced offer. I'm not saying you shouldn't have a low price offer. That's great if you have something that makes sense. It's just to go straight to advertising that I don't love. And then the other piece of this is assuming that you can make a ton of profit from a, a low price offer like $27. You know, I always tell people if if you're going to be advertising this, you want to think more of breaking even than actually making profit. You want to think of it as offsetting your list building, you know, offsetting your cost per lead. This $27 um, product is just going to basically give you a discount on your Facebook ads. It's not going to like skyrocket you into your next level of income because the price is just too low when you're investing in facebook ads and potentially someone like me who's going to run them for you you just need to be aware that that price point doesn't give you much room for profit when it's all said and done so again this is just an expectation thing again you definitely can advertise a 27 dollar offer i like to do it where we have the free a lead magnet and then we have what's called a tripwire where people hit a thank you page and that's where they get to know about your $27 offer or they can uh, you can also email them about it after they sign up but I like to get people's email and be able to like build that relationship over email and invite them to your Facebook group or your Instagram things like that as opposed to just going straight to the purchase and then if they don't buy you've lost them forever so not my favorite strategy. It's a pretty trendy one. And I just want people to realize the limitations there. Before I go on to mistake number four, I want to let you know that this episode is sponsored by my rising star Facebook ads management package. This is my entry level list building package that is meant for successful coaches to help you start building your audience, your following on Instagram and Facebook your Facebook group, if, if you have one, and really getting in front of more people, helping them know, like, and trust you, recognizing your name and your face and your message. So if that's you, if you're successful and you're ready to amplify that success and scale, then you can reach out to me. I, I've worked with a lot of different coaches, especially I like working with life coaches because I think that can be a tricky niche to speak to as far as copywriting for that type of client. And I, I think I get better and better at that every year. 
So if you're interested in, in working with me in my Rising Star package, uh, again, this is kind of the entry level package for someone who's new to ads and wants to scale up. You can just go ahead and DM me on Instagram. It's at Marketing with Delight, and we can talk about what it would look like to work together. All right, so let's move on to mistake number four. And that is when you have a free lead magnet that does not align with your paid offer. This is a mistake because you're not necessarily going to bring the right people into your funnel and onto your email list who are going to be ready to work with you. And I did make this mistake in my very first ad campaign. It's like funny to think about it now. It seems like so obvious, but I just, you know, I was new. I didn't see it. I was too close to it. So I had this course on meditation. So I decided to do a webinar about life purpose from a spiritual perspective. So I'm doing this webinar on life purpose, and then I'm selling a course about meditation. And in my mind, those two things connect because, you know, you could figure out what your life purpose is by meditating or, you know, align with your life purpose by meditating. But like, it's not a straight line and it's not, it's not as straight of a line as you want when you're investing in Facebook ads. Like what I should have done is done a webinar about meditation, talked about, you know, why meditation is great, how it can benefit you. And then said, if you want to start practicing meditation, here's my 30 day meditation course. We've got a different guided meditation every day, join it, blah, blah, blah. You know, see how that's way more of a straight line from the, uh, <laughs> from the free offer, which is, uh, what in this case was a webinar. The same thing applies though, if you're doing like a PDF guide or, a quiz or whatever type of lead magnet it is. You just need the topic to align with your paid offer. So that is really, really important to help you bring through the right people who are actually looking for what you have. Mistake number five that you can make with Facebook and Instagram ads is hiring the wrong ads manager. So the first type of ads manager you can work with that could be the wrong fit for you is yourself. Know yourself. If you are a person where you don't like tech, you're not great with numbers, you don't geek out on analytics and, and data, then you don't want to be running your own ads, especially long term. So don't even bother <laughs> if you're not in that mindset if you're more of a right brain creative person who doesn't who didn't like math in school didn't like statistics don't like spreadsheets don't even bother to try doing your own ads it is going to make you want to punch yourself in the face i've been doing this for many years and it sometimes still makes me want to punch myself in the face so don't put yourself through that pain um, so then, okay, so you're not going to do it yourself. Uh, some people, what they'll do is, is talk to their virtual assistant and be like, Hey, could you run some ads for me? And that, and that is not a great plan unless that VA has training in ads, because I, I had this happen with a client, uh, her VA had never run ads before, but was like, Oh, sure. I'll figure it out. I'll just do some YouTubing and Googling. Uh, they're running ads for a webinar and they're, the cost per sign up for the webinar was like $30, which is way too high. So they got a hold of me, they hired me, I got in there and I was able to convert leads for this webinar at about four, four to $5 each because I have way more training than a VA. Uh, I pay hundreds a month to be in a group where I get to have coaches help me and keep up with the trends and the changes and all the things going on with Facebook. So most VAs aren't doing that because they need to uh, be able to do a lot of other you know, tasks for you in your business. So unless your VA has a lot of experience and really keeps up with all the changes and things going on, in the back end, I don't highly recommend. The other type of um, Facebook ads manager that could be the wrong fit is a cheap and shady Facebook ads manager. I have this quote from somebody named Allison that I know from a Facebook group. 
<laughs> here's what she said about her experience. She said, I hired the wrong quote unquote ad guru who was low budget and super shady. I'm reasonably savvy with Facebook ads, but I do need to hire someone more knowledgeable than myself to run them for me. So, you know, I guess it goes to the old adage of you get what you pay for. Uh, if you're looking for the cheapest fit for this, that could happen. You, you know, you can definitely find someone who charges a lower rate and does a good job as well. But, you know, I've heard this more than once from somebody who had hired an ads manager that that charged a very low price, but was super shady. And the last type of wrong ads manager could be somebody who is more of a bro marketer. So if you are a coach, you're let's say you're a life coach or you're a very heart-centered, soulful person. Also, if you have that feminine energy to your branding and your offering and your whole vibe, you can end up hiring somebody who is the opposite of that to do your ads for you. And there's just a misalignment with your vibe and the marketer's vibe. I just was taking a look at somebody's um, system the other day, and they are, this what is a woman who's a coach and a therapist and has this really good vibe, good Instagram presence, great website. And I was like, so what are you advertising? She shows me the landing page and it is so dull, so boring. Um, it looks like a marketer made it. It does not look like she, it doesn't match the rest of her website. Uh, it looks like, I don't know, the best thing I can say is a bro marketer made it. <laughs> it is just extremely dull. The colors aren't even her brand colors. It doesn't feel like her. So that is just not to me. If that's important to you, if the energy and the vibes are important to you, which I think they should be, I guess some people don't care, but for me, I want, you know, for my clients, I want a good experience from start to finish in any touch point that they're having. So there's the ad, there's a landing page, there's emails, maybe there's a sales page or there's a, a book a call page or, you know, whatever that funnel is. I want that to look and feel like my client. And I think that's really important. Um, rather than jamming my client into like a cookie cutter solution that's worked for other people, I want to look at, you know, what is, what are their, what's their vibe? What's their colors? What's the flow? How are we doing this? And, and then figure out the best way to advertise from that perspective. So, you know, starting with the, starting with the client first, instead of, instead of taking the client into what I want to do. So those are my five mistakes. I will quickly go over them again. Number one, trying to fix your business with ads. Number two, starting ads before you have a proven offer. Number three, expecting to make six figures in profit from promoting a $27 digital product. Number four, your free lead magnet doesn't align with your proven offer. And number five, you hire the wrong Facebook ads manager. So I hope this was helpful to you. Again, I mentioned I have my rising star package uh, available. If you are ticking these things off and going, no, I haven't made those mistakes. I have my proven offer. I, I am successful. I don't want to do this myself. I want some help. Then reach out to me. Just DM me on Instagram. It's at Marketing with Delight. And uh, I'd love to chat with you about building your email list with some Facebook and Instagram ads. So have a great day and cheers to your success.